All right, so we've got the Mercedes uh, combination switch here. This does uh, uh, windshield wipers on a push on the knob and some intermittent uh, apparently on the knob and of course left and right turn signals. Uh, the mechanism itself is made of die cast material, which makes it pretty problematic because when they wear out, it's metal that's worn out. I've actually gone into this unit and uh, it's hard to see in this particular position, but repinned uh, the vertical axis pins that are the detents for the uh, turn signal. That is the detent that holds it in left and then manually pulls down or comes down by uh, the trigger release quite easily. And, uh, uh, and, it, and it works that way in both sides. Now, we've had to make a compromise in terms of its uh, uh, manual pull down, which is fairly hard, uh, fairly resistive, versus the trip, which releases it quite easily. There's a, a, a metal mechanism in there that, that uh, we have to file at, at, at precise right angles. And the, ra uh, the corners of it were rounded and the pins were no longer vertical. Uh, they are now because we re them with a solid axis. And that, that means that uh, uh, without completely remaking pieces that don't exist, uh, we have now a compromise between holding in place and release by, by steering wheel. So now we're gonna go through and show you the test. We have this, uh, the contacts hooked up to a nine amp load. Uh, just to show you, you can see that we're dealing with about nine amps. Uh, we've got it going through a couple of quartz halogen lights here. And uh, uh, what was that? Is, I guess that's left. That's right turn. Okay, right turn. So go ahead now, uh, Steve, and hook left. up the the uh, left okay. turn. Okay, so left turn. And there's the opposite side. Okay. And he's tripping it with his fingers, just there like the steering wheel would. Okay. Right. And then we got pushed the lever away from yourself. Oh, yeah. I, I guess this has a... High low beam both ways. Yeah. action. So it both away from you. Oops. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go is it? Wrong way. I must be hooked on the wrong thing here. Hang on. Push is this end. Yeah. yeah. Wrong connection. There we go. Okay. Push. And uh, you know this is not likely ever going to see a nine amp load, but that you know the engineering test is is you know five times more than it would ever see just to verify the integrity of the contacts. And this is pull. There you go. Thanks, Steve. Yeah, and now what we got? Let's see, push on the knob. Okay, so. Great. That's a momentary. Right. And the rocker switch is next. This rocker switch has a self canceling feature in it. Yeah. So okay. there it's if off. It's off, it turns on actually when, when you, push. you push it. Yeah. So you have to turn it off manually, but if it's pushed on the end like that, it will come on. Very good. So, yeah, uh, Retrieve from the Dead, another Mercedes switch. Now, we have one more just like this that we've also built. Similar uh, concerns throughout. Uh, pretty deep metal repairs down into the base of the unit. Uh, just real quick look here at the mechanisms itself. And, you know, we this thing has come down and apart to every every feature so uh, looking good all, all solder connections thank you for your attention on to the next one